The earth nurtures the trees, and the trees bear fruit. It's the earth itself that gives us all life. O oh, Fodlan, land of plenty, bless us with the gift of delicious food. What are you doing? I, oh, it's just you, Lawrence. I was disturbed by your ridiculous blather. Must you recite it quite so loudly? And can you even call that nonsense poetry when it is utterly ignorant of rhyme and meter? Ouch! You don't hold back, do you? I didn't know you were so particular about poetry. Ha! <laughs> Maybe you have a secret poetry collection of your own hidden somewhere. That's absurd! Where did you hear that? And just what was that poem about? It seemed to me that you were praising the land. But is it not the goddess who nurtures the land? Should your praise not go to her instead? Of course you zero in on that detail. You really are a Fodlin noble through and through. Certainly. Aren't you? I'm not quite the same, no. Though noble blood flows within me, it can't change who I am at heart. Pardon? I think you had best clarify. Listen, Lawrence, you had ambitions of becoming the Alliance's ruler, didn't you? Would you like to try that for real? If you really want it, I wouldn't mind giving up my position. What's this all of a sudden? That is not an offer to be made in jest. I'm not joking around. I've been thinking it for a while now. I originally thought you were like a fox drawn in by the deer of the Alliance. But I was wrong. You're no thoughtless predator. You're trying to properly train the deer around you. Isn't that right? That is my intention. But the ambition is insufficient. To rule well, a certain temperament is required. When we first met, I mistrusted you a great deal, and on my father's advice, I observed you closely. That is why I can say this for certain. You possess the qualities necessary to govern. A compliment from you? That's about as rare as a deer standing on its hind legs and doing a jig. Merely a statement of fact, one that is quite relevant to the future of the Alliance. The future of the Alliance, huh? You really are devoted to your cause. Depending on your actions, I may yet see fit to seize your position for myself. Bear that in mind. <laughs> I welcome the idea. It means I can feel safe vanishing whenever I see fit. Vanishing? Do not tell me you intend to die in this conflict. You cannot shape the future if you do not live to see it. Ha! <laughs> First you compliment me, and now you're worrying about me? What have you done with the real Lawrence? No, I'm not going to die. I'm tougher than I look. Besides, this war isn't just for the Alliance anymore. It's going to decide the fate of all Fodlan. It would be cruel to leave you with the burden of uniting all of Fodlan by yourself, don't you think? Burden? Please. If there were none other suitable, I would gladly become a king. Or even an emperor. Well, well. I guess I shouldn't take Lawrence of the famous House Gloucester so lightly. Really, though. Don't you go dying on me either, Lawrence. We're going to need men like you in the age to come. The same to you, Claude. A world without you would be ever so dull.